All right, do you want to say things, Dan? Uh, we're both going to say things. I think that's sort of how podcasts We're both going to say things. You're saying, you know, I'm going to put this in at the beginning of the first podcast. Really? Yeah, I'm just going to throw it in there. It's going to be a good introduction, I think. To every single one. To, yeah. So most people where they have, like... They have a little theme intro song. song. Yeah, yes. yeah. We're going to have this. We're going to have this. Mm. I like it. Better make this one Can we have a backing track? Uh, yeah. Nice. You know what it's going to be? Jane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put this in. And this bit I'm saying right now, this yeah. is also going in. Mm-hmm. This whole thing. It's going in. If we say anything on this, it's in there. It's in there. I hate our audience. Hello and welcome to the As Of Yet Untitled Podcast. My name is Jamie. My name's Dan. Uh, we will Each week we will talk about nerd things, right? This week it is mainly about Transformers 2. Arguably the worst of the Transformers 2 movies. But also arguably the best, All right. as you'll see. Um, we also talk about movie trailers and movie news, which we didn't get any of this week because I'm too lazy, and weird sex stories of the week, not from us, from other people. Yeah. Um, good. That was a good clarification. Yeah, just in case. All right. Uh, we really hope you enjoy. Uh, we'll try and do this weekly, right? We'll try. Well, I claim that we're going to try and do it weekly, but we probably won't. All right. Have fun with the episode. Sort of thing. So it's taken me about five minutes to plan this podcast, mm-hmm. and I've taken me even less because I didn't even plan it. Exactly, um, and I have come up with uh, a segment to begin with. We're going to talk about some uh, nerd trailers, trailers, nerds. You okay with some that? Nerds that are in trailers. Nerds that are in trailers, trailers recreated Jesse by Eisenberg. Nerds. Jesse Eisenberg in the Now You See Me Two trailer. Have you seen it? I haven't. <laughs> It's it's. Uh, is this one of the trailers? This is one of the trailers. This is one of the. Tra- I didn't just look. The now you see me two trailer. Yeah. It's have you right? You said you hadn't seen. It. I have not. It's uh. So Describe you, it it's, to me. Is there a lot of? Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh, <laughs> it's, ah, I'm Jesse Eisenberg. Well, oh. have you seen the? How have you seen the first film? I have. I have. All right. So you know how it's a lot of like it's a lot of bullshit, and yes. at the end Mark Ruffalo's and and then at the end it goes we are Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. Yep. Classic. Yeah. Uh, Imagine that. Classic MLG Imagine video. all that promise of all that magic they're going to do. Mm-hmm. And then the first line in the trailer is, oh, we've made no progress in a year. That sounds perfect. Yeah. That is exactly... When I, when I think of I want a new movie, I want it to be exactly the same it was, as the last one. It was one. said by everybody's favourite Franco, James Franco. Oh, James it Franco. wasn't James Franco, it was Dave. It was the other I was going to say, James Franco's weird now. <laughs> no, he's not. He is. He puts naked pictures of himself on the internet. Does he? Yeah. What, what what is it on? Like Instagram. Yeah, it was. It was on his Ooh. Instagram. So the now you see me two trailer, right? They do. It's just him and Woody Harrelson, right? Standing. Just Jesse Eisenberg. No, 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 no. Dave Franco. Dave Franco and Woody Harrelson. And they're Halston. just throwing cars, mm-hmm. cards, not cars. That would be a way better movie. Would, and they're would. just throwing cards. Isn't that just Chronicle? <laughs> oh, Chronicle, classic. Oh, we should that. talk about. We should do an episode on Chronicle. I haven't seen it. You should watch Chronicle and we should do and an episode. And then we should do an episode. <laughs> episode. We should do an episode on Chronicle. All right, so anyway, so the trailer's a bit like, oh, we're back. Everybody, look, it's Jesse Eisenberg. Look, shaved Jesse his hair. Eisenberg's home again. He shaved his hair more for this movie than he did for Batman, Batman v- ba- uh, BVS. Why? Our favourite movie. Do you think he did BVS first then? He, he was bold at oh, the very end. He was end bold at the it, very end, it? yeah. And then, like, now you see me, people go, shit, why don't you Wait, tell us you're going to be bold? Was it wig in... It. Was his so. ginger bit of wig? I, so. I, I kind of wish. Uh, I don't. I don't wish anything on that movie. Ginger. Right, anyway, so yeah, it looks like they're just doing the same thing. Morgan Freeman's all. The, all your favourites are back. All your favourites are back. Morgan uh, Freeman's back. A uh, chick whose name I forget. No, oh, no, she's not in it. Oh, nah, so not all your favourites. Sorry, <laughs> no. no they you, you lulled her. me in with a <laughs> false promise there. No, okay, she's not back. Okay. But all your other old favourites. So like, all the other people, all the other characters that people actually knew. Uh, well, I mean, can you name anybody from that movie that isn't just their actor name? <laughs> not not. And you can't no. say Jesse Eisenberg. Je- oh. No, you can't say Woody Harrelson. Yeah, uh, uh, De- De- you can't say Dave Franco. Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, you can say Mark Ruffalo. Mark I, believe, Ruffalo. I believe that was his name, so you can say mm-hmm. Mark Ruffalo. He was um, just Mark Ruffalo in that movie. Anyway, yeah, it looks, yeah, yeah. looks kind of shit, but <laughs> when a comedy... Comedy sequels are never any good, so it's fine. Is this a comedy sequel? Well, depends if you think. Is it going to end up being a comedy sequel? <laughs> Probably. This is I the most know. serious drama what, what I've is, ever created. What is like funniest what, movie? Well, what is the genre for the original? I'd say comedy, but I guess it's an action thriller. I guess. Comedy. Magic. A thrillometer. Thrillometer. A 
Oh, hang on, hang on. A hang comma. On, hang on. A comma. It's a comma. Uh, it's a comma. Mm. It's a coma. Jesse Eisenberg's been in a coma Jesse for years. Jesse Eisenberg. Uh, I've got it written down here, Alice in Clockland. Have you seen the trailer for that? I have. I, di- I didn't like it. I don't like Tim Burton anymore. You don't like Tim Burton? You one, don't like the Burtonator? One. Uh, an what's his on name? Tim Captain Burton. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Bloody Johnny Depp. John Depp. He used to give me nightmares when I was a child. Yeah, actually? Uh, I had a reoccurring nightmare. Was it from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> that yes! was terrifying. Yes. That's the thing. That movie is terrifying. I had a reoccurring nightmare that I was in the chocolate factory and um, Johnny Depp. It, it wasn't even Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka. It was Johnny Depp right. as himself in the costume. Yeah, he was chasing me around there. I don't know what he was going to do to me when he He's found probably me. Probably going to ch- stuff you full of chocolate, mate. I tell you what, I had a recurring... That's the nicest way no, to I'll go tell you down. What, I tell you what, I had a recurring nightmare about a much less scary movie. Oh. That was The Nutty Professor with Eddie Murphy. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I, I got very scared as a kid and apparently... The that, thought, that really fat guy that turned into a small guy yeah, and a fat guy again. Yeah, that was it. I was terrified of that movie. Wow. I don't know. All right? When I was a kid, for some reason it was all about that split personality thing that terrified me because in that movie the skinny guy always kept trying to take over the fat guy Did that's got the hell out of me you were a skinny guy who was trying to take care of the world yeah I was terrified that's why I kept going to McDonald's because I knew I was with my people <laughs> you knew you were safe there <laughs> no one tries to take over there alright anyway alright so <laughs> let's go back on track to Alice in Clockland yeah so Tim Burton his movies are just weird nowadays um, yeah well they were always weird I never, but now they're just I don't like plotless him. weird and I'm not a fan of the whole plot of Alice in Wonderland in the first place. Never I'm, mind a sequel. I'm not a fan of all the gritty Disney reboots, I'll be honest. Disney. It's not even gritty, though, is it? It is, though, isn't it? It's, it's Tim Burton. It's Tim Burton. Tim gritty. Burton's not gritty. He's just disturbed. He is He's bit, just problems. He's a bit disturbed, right? Do you reckon he was like Willy Wonka as a child? <laughs> chased in the factory by Johnny Depp. <laughs> yeah. Do you reckon he was chased That does him? things to a man, so I imagine so. I feel like this episode is going to have to be called either The Nutty Professor or. <laughs> Chasing the Factory by Johnny Depp. Chasing the Factory by the Nutty Processor. <laughs> yes. The Nutty Processor. There you go. I'll edit this bit out and nobody will know. I'll edit the whole Nutty Professor bit out. No, anyway. no, I don't think so. Anyway, all right. Have you seen the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer? I saw three seconds of it where Stephen Amell's was like, mm, hey there, and that was it. Right, okay. That's all I've seen of it. Right. That's all you've this seen. This would have gone better if I'd seen these trailers. Probably. Probably. I feel like we can talk about it more because I can describe them to you. Just go ahead. Right, start so the Ninja Turtles, them. right? You, you know them. They're classic painters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you've got. It's all about the French Margaret Renaissance. Thatcher. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Margaret Thatcher. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, yeah. <laughs> Kiefer Sutherland. Yeah, of course. And everyone's favourite Ninja Turtle, the red one. Yeah. Roger. Right. Roger. <laughs> Roger, everybody's favourite. What what is it? Roger, he's cool but rude. Michael Jackson, he's a party dude. That's how the yeah, people song use went. a lot of horrible words about <laughs> Michael Jackson. Oh. Let, all right, no, hang on. So this trailer, right? So they're there. St- Arrow shows up for a bit. <laughs> Megan Fox does some Megan things. Megan Fox is still turn out. They've got like Bebop and Rocksteady. Do you know who they are? I do know. That. Yeah, I don't really care. I'll be honest. I didn't don't watch the original. I don't really like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that much. Neither do I. I'll be honest. It's fun to take the mick out of for a uh, bit. Who? We, all right. Everybody's got a favorite Ninja Turtle, and I don't want to hear Margaret Thatcher because bloody nobody likes Margaret Thatcher. All right. Who's your favorite Ninja Turtle? Who's yours? Uh, I would say when I was a kid, I'd probably have said Donatello mm-hmm. because nobody liked Donatello. Yeah. You have to be different. Uh, now, I'd probably say Michelangelo. Uh, for me, it's a toss-up between Leonardo and Raphael. You're a tosser. <laughs> no, I'll let that out. Oh. Toss-up between uh. Raphael and Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio, wait, what? <laughs> Leonardo. Hang because... on, who was the first one you said? Raphael. Yeah, sorry, I th- I th- for some reason I thought you said Donatello. So we've got completely the opposite. The Archangel Raphael. Right, yeah. And Leonardo DiCaprio. And Leonardo They're DiCaprio. my two favourite. Which I Ninja do Turtles. like. Yeah, alright. What's your favourite Leonardo DiCaprio movie? It's Catch Me If You Can, isn't it? It actually is. <laughs> it's actually, I've never seen Catch Me If You Can. That is a bloody good movie. Is I, it? I always forget the name of that, and it's bloody good. There you go. Anyway. <laughs> um. Well, anyone um, knows. Next trailer. <laughs> Remember when we were talking about trailers? Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is still from Alice in Clockland. You know, how do we. Right, it looks bad. It looks bad. Oh, wait, no, Probably we moved will on. Be bad. Wait, hang on. No, we moved on to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah, That's we did, why yeah. we were talking about them. 
Look, um, anyway, let's move on. Uh, sausage Party. Seen that. Have you actually? Oh, it was fantastic. Does it? I think it looks really shit. Have you read I the script? I think it looks mildly okay. Have you, have you read the script that got leaked? No. Okay, I have read a bit of, this, of the script that got leaked. Because I've got really nothing better to do with my time, apparently. That's, that's true, that's it's true. It's really racist. How do you mean? It's really racist. <laughs> it's Hell. really quite bad. It's, it's, it's not funny. Um, is it just like blatantly? It's just blatantly. I stereo. dislike. You know, like um, people oh, who are fuck, a different what colour to me. The KKK. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Much, much worse. Michael Bay's characters. You know, um, you know the ones from Transformers Two. The ones that were on ice cream truck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skids and mudflaps. Yeah. Skids and mudflap. Mm-hmm. They uh, uh, email in. If wait, I should probably make an email. Email in to an email that will be in the description if you know what those characters are called. Skids and, and mudflaps. Is that what they're called? Are you sure? They're called. I'm hundred percent. Well, if we if we come out with anything wrong, which we will, you'll just have to email us, and we'll we'll tell you what the email is. Uh, when I or we'll put it in the description, or I'll edit a bit in. It doesn't or, matter. Or or or, what's we'll to just say at the end? Yeah, yeah. We'll just say at the end mm-hmm. when I've come up with one. Okay. Anyway, um, skids and mudflap. Right, skids and mudflap. You know how racist they were. No. Well, they were really racist. I didn't catch on to any racist <laughs> issues. Yeah, of were course. They? No, yeah, yeah. How? Yeah, they. I don't know. Why were they even racist? Look, they were constantly. Are you sure? About they're just this? huge stereotypes. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. They're stereotyped. <laughs> they're not racist. No, they're really racist. Oh, Rewatch that movie. Oh. Uh, I thought you were joking. No, no. they genuinely are. Quite I actually bad. love that movie. And I never noticed they were racist. <laughs> they're quite racist. Like st- no, like using that stereotype. Extensively racist. They're quite racist. I mean, I don't really care because that movie is, uh, uh, as much as people say it's the worst, how the fuck have we gone to Transformers? That's the best Transformers Is it movie? though? It is. I think like the first one's the best one. The first one was good. The first one was just a bit... Right, hang on. Save this. I've got an idea. What? This episode can be the Transformers episode. We'll talk about this in a bit. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, <laughs> right, Sausage Party is really racist. That's what I was trying to get at here. Extensively and unnecessarily racist. Yes. Yes. Not not racist for comical effect. Not really. It's a bit. It's a bit too much. Like it can be. It like it starts off. You know, like, huh, that was a that was a funny comment about people. Moving on. Sausage party looks fine. Have you seen the trailer for Independence Day Resurgence? You're gonna hate me. Have you not? <laughs> Neither have I. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Have you seen the trailer? Right, I've got two left. Uh, I don't know which one to tackle first. I say we tackle the most influential first. The Sing trailer. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, have, you, have you seen this trailer? Just right this minute. <laughs> just right now, this minute. Funnily enough. Because I just showed you... Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it looks really shit. All right. Um, finally, this is the one that actually has probably made the most buzz. And we're probably a bit, little bit late on this. But the Ghostbusters trailer. Oh, no. I'm... We could probably do a whole episode on the Ghostbusters trailer. I don't feel sexist about it. I'm not annoyed because they are women. No, nope, same. I am annoyed because it looks, looks shit. shit. Yeah. See, when... Melissa McCarthy is like a 12-year-old yep. in a 30-year-old's body, and I don't get that. When the when it was first announced to be an all-female Ghostbusters, I was like, I was okay, like, cool. I was, I was a bit sceptical. Even after the cast was announced with Melissa McCarthy, I was like, okay, fine. Melissa McCarthy and that woman from SNL. Yeah, I was like, fine. All right, as long as it's funny, as long as you do something good with it. And then I watched the first trailer, and I was like, all right, I kind of get it now. You're a bit shit. Where's, where's Bill Murray? Where is he? I love Bill Murray. Yeah, I mean, he's probably... I mean, one of them's dead. Which one's dead? Uh, Egon. Egon. The one who played him. Can't Egon. remember his name. Uh, Harold Ramis. He's that's, dead. That's probably it. Uh, but I would say that you probably shouldn't make another Ghostbusters. Or if you are, don't call it Ghostbusters. Call it Ghostbusters this time without Bill Murray. Ghosty Busterinos. G- G- Ghostarinos. I'll Ghostarino b- catches. Why would keep busting my Ghostarinos? All right. The Ghostbusters. With Jesse Eisenberg. With Jesse Eisenberg. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Ghostbusters with Jesse Eisenberg. Yes or no? Just be now you see me again. Wouldn't it would, it? wouldn't it? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go on to my net. All right. So that's all the trailers, right? Fine. Fantastic. We'll talk about them. That went swimmingly well. I think it actually did. It went quite well. So, uh, what was it? Well, what's next? All right. So I have a new segment. I'd like to play. Admit they're all new segments. <laughs> a brand new segment to our show, as yet untitled podcast about things. Uh, I am not going to release the name of this segment until I've read you the news article title. 
Um, man arrested for having sex with Lilo. And not for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I think... This segment is called uh, Weird Sex Story of the Week. <laughs> We're going to get one in every single time. I'm going to find one. You're going to find one. All right. Um, I think what makes that headline the best thing... Hang on. They've given him a nickname. The notorious lusty Lilo lover <laughs> has been up to his old tricks again. <laughs> Okay, all right, I can't actually scroll down the page. All right. My favourite part about that is the, and not for the first yeah. time. I like to imagine that this man has been given multiple citations. Edwin Tegobat. He I sounds, can't read it. He sounds like a dodgy DC You can see character. his name in a minute. He looks really... No, not his name. You can see his face. Um, has, um, <laughs> has graced these pages. Has twice graced these pages for having sex with inflatable rap. On two occasions, as well as a blow-up pumpkin. <clears throat> the, the, Ohio R- the Ohio <laughs> man, 30, has been arrested again for fornicating with a pink lilo. There, there he is. Oh, good Lord. He looks like Weird Al after a dodgy night out. <laughs> he does look. <laughs> look, listeners, if you can picture Weird Al after a dodgy night uh, out... After being on drugs for seven years... After being on drugs for seven years... And potentially dying... Right, you, okay. You've got this man. Um... He has been out of jail since uh, the 17th of May and was only on parole for his last offence of public indecency. Uh, His grandmother, Linda, has previously said he has a lot of mental problems (laughs) and he's always had a fascination for plastic. Uh, That's just it. That's all of it. We can never take the proper care of Edwin. (laughs) It's like nobody cares. Last year, (laughs) during his sentence, he said, I do want to apologise for my actions. I'm sorry, I do deal with mental issues, and if a court would give me this chance for this programme, sir, I would give it 100%. I'm ready to get my life together and quit all this nonsense. That's the news article. That's the weird sex story of the week. If we can get a jingle from somebody, that would be great. We're not going to get a jingle from anybody. We're not going to get a jingle from anybody. In fact, I don't even know how to put this on iTunes, I'll be honest. Nobody does. Nobody does. All right, so should we move on to the main topic of this week? Do it. Alright, so we decided that we would talk about the Transformers movie. When did we decide this? Two minutes ago. Two minutes ago during our trailers segment. Where do you so, want to start? We're gonna we're gonna do, we're gonna kick off our podcast with Transformers 2 The Revenge of the Guy That's Revenging. That's what you're telling me. Revenge of Revenging. Alright, fine. It's Transformers 2. It was right. a fantastic piece of cinema history. It wasn't. Uh the only fall down points was it was strange, seductive robot lady Everything with... Everything about it was bad. ...tail that comes out of her ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was oh, weird. Oh, I forgot about that tail. And Sam thing, yeah. suddenly get an epilepsy and go... And then the and then the clearly perverted college hang teacher... On, wait, no, hang on. I'm pretty sure goes, you... I am the Alpha <laughs> and the Omega. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you just described the best parts of Transformers too. I'll be all right. And and that strange Hispanic guy who right, runs the on. real effing deal. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> who screams all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Could you the real effing deal. Oh, Why did I agree to talk about Transformers too? It's, it's it's awful. It's not good. But, but you know what is good? What? Every action sequence in that movie is good. All right. Mm-hmm. The, the Transformers part of Transformers think, 2 is good. Uh, is it? Uh, I really like the old cranky robot. Jetfire's yeah, a legend. Yeah, Jetfire's good. See, this is the thing. I was talking about it earlier, but this is like one of the things where I don't have random useless knowledge on it. I know nothing but about it. But you know do. all about it. All right, fine. The real effing deal. All right, all right. I feel like each week I'm I'm deciding this on the fly. Each week we both choose a different movie to talk about. Okay. All right. So this week was your week, yeah. Uh huh. Next week will next month will be my week. It's fine. I'm what back. What did you least like about this movie? Uh, the weird Terminator girl. What the fuck was that? That was what you least liked. Well, no, I least liked. I don't know all of it. The two racist robots I brought up earlier that we talked about for like ten minutes. Them. Mm. They were pretty bad. Uh, the jokes were just awful when that fucking huge annihilator thing I don't know his name um, which one? Devastator yeah Devastator when he right? had those balls yeah that wasn't funny yeah, that was unnecessary <laughs> that was just a bit shit that why? Really unnecessary why would you and the first Transformers I'd say up until they like started Pissed talking 
<laughs> yeah, all right, pissed on someone. Ever since uh, up until I uh, pissed on somebody, it was all right. I don't. I did. Uh, and the Transformers in the first one, right? I know we're not talking about the first one, but the first one's way better. <laughs> Do you know which one isn't better? No, no, no. I'm not done. I, I had a point. <laughs> all right, Transformers one. Mm-hmm. Even if they weren't very good, all the Transformers at least had a bit of a personality. Well, yeah, Transformers, Transformers 2, Transformers I can too. barely tell them apart. What? I can barely tell like them apart. Like who? Who can Literally, you tell them apart? Bumblebee's the worst <laughs> in all of them. Yeah, that's true. Bumblebee, uh, like that whole radio gimmick got old real quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? And also, didn't he get his voice box fixed by Ratchet? Did it? Yeah, he said, he just, he just, I've fixed your voice <laughs> box, buddy. But he just really likes using Jay Leno quotes like, or whatever. He really likes talking like Jimmy Kimmel. If he was, I don't know if he was... I don't even Jimmy know, Kimble. I didn't even know if Jimmy Kimmel was alive back then. <laughs> back in the olden days. 2007. 2000, you came out in 2007? I, I think so. That looked pretty good for 2007. It was very good for 2000. Well, Transformers 1 did. Alright, well, it probably came out like 2009. 2000. 2008? Yeah. Look, it looked real good for like late two thousands CG. I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it that. The Transformers the movies. Transformers had fantastic CGI. It did. And Transformer, can you describe the entire plot of Transformers two? Well, yeah. Are you asking? Yeah, me I'm to? asking you to because <laughs> I, I don't know. So it starts off right. Sam's going to college and his mum's being an awkward cow like usual. Yeah. Oh, doesn't she get high? She gets she high, gets high in that movie. <laughs> that is one of the things I hate about that movie. She gets, she gets high. high in that movie and then talks to random girls about how Sam lost his virginity. Yeah. He d- that does happen. That how does happen. is this your favourite? Then she grabs some random guy's frisbee and goes, <laughs> get that bitch off my frisbee. <laughs> how and she's can like, they're be... selling brownies how... at a bake sale. How there were can... drugs. How can this be your favourite one? I don't understand. See, just from that, this is my least favourite one. So, uh, <laughs> we go back All right. to uh, Sam, and he's at home, and her mum, his mum's being a bitch, as usual. Yeah. Like, because that's the noise she makes. Yeah, yeah. And then he, he's like, he finds the allspark, and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He turns into Hannibal Lecter and has an epileptic fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he drops it, and then all the appliances come out, and then he goes, Bumblebee! Doesn't he shout yeah, Optimus yeah, yeah. or something? Doesn't go Optimus! Yeah, that's later on. Is it? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this is when he turns his... No, right, I remember this. This is when he turns his blender into a Transformer, isn't it? Yeah. This is when his Xbox turns into a Transformer. He's like, I don't care how much it's trying to kill me. Xbox 360 is still a really fun console that everybody should buy. <laughs> Marketing. So Bumblebee turns up yeah, and this. blows the shit out of everything. Because <laughs> Sam asked him to. Yeah. And then Sam gets pissy with it. <laughs> he does. I do remember this. And he's like, Bumblebee, what the hell are you doing? And he's like... <laughs> this is a Jimmy Kimmel quote. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jimmy and then Fowler. we get unnecessary shots, unnecessarily seductive shots of Megan Fox sitting on a bar. I'm not complaining about it. Uh, I mean, those are the best parts of the movie, but to be honest. But they weren't necessary. Yep. Um, then Bum- then he goes back into the thing and he's like, Bumblebee, you're not coming to college with me. No, you- Bumblebee, you come to college with me. He goes, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, Bumblebee, you're not coming to college with me. He's- <laughs> Wait, he, he cries. Hang on. Wait, no, doesn't he say, oh, Bumblebee, you know college? And then oh, yeah, yeah, that. yeah. It's, it's not- Sam isn't just a complete ass. He's not just like, <laughs> you're coming oh. to college with me. <laughs> oh, <my> yes! <laughs> you're not coming to college with me. No. <laughs> well, why is Darth Vader saying no? I don't know. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I, might, I might talk about Star Wars next week. Anyway, um, next month. Anyway, carry on. Uh, so that I feel like you're de- going through a lot of detail in then this. Then Megan Fox gets changed and we get a necessary shot of her practically clothesless. Awesome. Yep. Just what we wanted. Right. Yep. Then... Bloody... Sam goes to college and he's like there and they're like, we'll Skype every day. And they do... No, they don't. No, they don't. So that's what causes the whole issue. Oh, yeah. That's why she's still involved in this plot, because he oh, didn't yeah. Skype her, <laughs> didn't and Skype she her. got on a plane, <laughs> because he didn't <laughs> Skype oh, her. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, she got on the plane because he asked her to. <laughs> Never mind. So, yeah. Wait, what plane? Sam goes to college, <laughs> and his mum becomes a stoner for, like, ten minutes, yeah. and he didn't meets... Didn't already do this bit? He meets that Hispanic fella. It's later on. You, <laughs> oh, you, right, you yeah, were sorry. shouting about it straight up. Like, didn't she do drugs? No, no, you said... You talked about the college... Oh, it doesn't matter. So he, it's he's fine. He's I'm going to edit most of this out anyway, anyway, so The real effing deal dot com. No, the real effing deal dot com. That's fine. And he's a bit of a knob. He is. He's um, in the movie for way too long. He's in the movie for the whole thing, Jamie. He's in, exactly, the whole exactly. bloody movie. <laughs> way too long. Why? Anyway, carry on. And then, um... So he's in it. 
Yeah. And he meets him, and then he's like, so Sam, which room you t- which half of the room do you want? And Sam's like, oh, I have this half. And he goes, I already chose that half. And you're like, this guy's going to be a fuck. No, I think fucker. I think mine, my reaction was, oh, this guy's a bit of a dick. At least he won't be in it for the rest of the movie, because he's just his roommate, right? That's what I thought. I thought and he's not going to be in college the whole time, because there's going to be loads of massive <laughs> robot fights. <laughs> like, so there's no way that guy is going to be in the movie any longer than he needs to be. Because I believe Michael Yet Bay... he was. He did the whole thing. Really? So, yeah. Uh, then he's like, look, look at this hot chick that everyone loves, that everyone knows already, but, but for, for some... somehow... <laughs> for some a robot reason... ...that no one was aware no, no, of. No, no, that's not the most unreasonable bit. The most unreasonable bit is this hot girl decides that, yeah, Shia LaBeouf, he's the guy I'm going to go for. Shia LaBeouf's the kind of guy I like. He's the, he's the hot... He's the kind of weirdo I'm into. <laughs> um, right, yeah. So, yeah, and he's like... And then he, Michaela, who is Megan Fox in this. Ew, is that her name? That's her name. I thought Michaela. her name was Megan Fox. <laughs> <laughs> it begins with an M, same thing. Oh, it does, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. And um, Sam's all like, oh, what am I going to do? I can't ring. And then um, he's like, I can't Skype her. Michaela, Michaela, Michaela. Michael. <laughs> I need, you need, I'm sending you a piece of the old spark. <laughs> And you, you need to you need to keep it safe. And she's like, um, okay. And then the little RC guy that tries. To <laughs> Where away. did the little RC guy come from? Sam's house. Oh yeah. He followed her home. Oh yeah. And oh then... no, no, it came from Megatron, didn't he? Megatron had him, and he was like, oh no, Starscream or somebody. No. No, because no, because they destroyed all of um, the things that he created through the All Spark, didn't they? Like his blender. They didn't. It was when he made it at the end. No, they didn't, because he was the one that survived. Oh, did he get away and like mm. oh. Wait, why did he follow? I could have sworn it was Because he a wanted the piece of the all spark. He was a Decepticon. Yeah. And then he he was going, please marry a princess or something he called her. This is, I know this movie too much. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. And and he like humps a leg and she's like, right. fuck off. Right. And oh, she yeah. she kicks I him off. This. And yeah. then they, they go on plane and he's in that box with her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember? And she, she she gets on the plane and is like, have you brought anything alive with you? And she's like, no. No. But she's got a robot in there. Yeah, he's got a robot. He's got a robot. Somehow they didn't. X-ray <laughs> Why would you? Look, what the fuck have you got a robot in there? What's going Fox, on? You wouldn't, I'd, only X, I'd be only X-raying one thing. Her uh, head. Yeah, her head, I guess. Um, Just to check if there's a mind. Uh, so, <laughs> that isn't confirmed. Um, <laughs> we, we're not quite sure yet. So, she comes on over and then Sam... Just this so is really overdrawn, by the way. You know this, room. this is so much detail. Sam, this robot lady... You know, yeah. Sam, Sam's in college... And he's sitting there, and he has another one of his epileptic fits yeah. in the classroom. Yeah, and yeah. He, he's get flicking through the page. Goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't do the face to you, listeners, but if I could, it's a very. Oh, yeah, accurate... I almost forgot about listeners listening to this. You know, this is taking half an hour and... just to you describe the fucking plot for Transformers. <laughs> he's going through it, and then the guy's Look. like, "You, you can't, you can't do that." He goes, oh, "I've got a theory." <laughs> Einstein's wrong, <laughs> and he, came, he spins the chalkboard round, starts oh, drawing shit. Business, you can't see the face, but it was perfect. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and then the guy goes, goes, get out! I am the alpha. He's he's hundred percent perverted because he winks at small girls and throws them apples after he's eaten them. And um, I am the alpha and omega. I am the alpha. And the Omi. Can we hurry this along just and a little bit? I'd like to talk about some things in the actual movie, you know, our <laughs> opinions on it. <laughs> We're only half an hour in, mate. Oh, fuck. Right. And, um, and then she, this girl starts technically raping him because he didn't consent at all. Well, is this when he goes, oh, no, 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 he goes to the party. For, I mean, I just told you to hurry it up, but he also goes to a yeah, party. Yeah, that first. party was boring and unnecess- <laughs> and, and necessary. Oh, it sounds a lot like the whole movie. And Bumblebee sprays paint on her and, and that's a weird... he sing, she, and sings Super Freak. Like... Bumblebee clearly doesn't understand that, like... If she, if he knows she's a Decepticon, deal with it then! Yeah, and if, if he just thinks Sam's cheating on Michaela, he doesn't care, right? Because he's a robot, right? Yeah. I mean, he's... All right, are people going to get angry at us calling him Transformers robots? Well, they're not... They're robots in disguise! No, I know, but I'm just... Uh, there might be another word for it. You know, people get pissed. Cybernetic, synthetic beings. Like, if you called, like, the synthetics or whatever they're called from Blade Runner, like, robots, people probably get angry. about synths and bloody fallout boys. Probably, it's a synth! Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway... Um, so, uh, the spray's pain. No, yeah, so that, that pie happens. Then she starts, Which seems like, like a weird innuendo for Going robot, all robot. weird on him. And and she has this weird tongue that extends that wraps around his neck. Later on, we don't see that yet. But yeah, she's yeah. got this really long tail that's about to stab him. And then Michaela comes in. And then Michaela was going, like, you jumped on top of me. She, <laughs> she jumped on top of me. They're literally in the middle of having sex. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then she's like, I'm out of here. Yeah. And then it turns out she's the robot. And then Sam's all screaming and shit. 
And then Michaela comes back in because for some reason she cares about him now and doesn't think he's just really wimp during sexual intercourse. Which is what he is. He has to be. He's as, ev- <laughs> as everybody who has had sex with Charlotte Buffett would say, <laughs> as, as both people. of me and you can say, as the two people. Uh, oh. Uh, right, keep going on the plot. Um, <laughs> I, should, I should say, Dan, before doing this podcast, refused to not play a video game while we're doing this, <laughs> yeah. so if you can hear clicking, that's because he refused. Um, All right. So... You put down the controller now because you're an ass. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I just embarrassed you in front of all of our one listeners. All, all which of is shy about. don't care about. All right, carry on. So he's all, so it all gets very weird there, and he's all strange, and she runs off, and then they get in the car, and she's like, Sam, I'm not having this conversation with you, and they're chasing you through a library. And, 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 so, and the Mexican guy's still there. And he's like, I don't know, uh, that's not Mexican. <laughs> See, me no, I am, no, no, I'm here. <laughs> that was, I'm that out, sure. Uh, <laughs> and, and then they get or picked up. Or I'm just going to, I'm going to put a bunch of, like, censoring bleeps over there. <laughs> they get picked up by Blackout. Yeah. Who, for some reason, changed his name to Grindor. Blackout was such oh, a yeah. cool name. Blackout yeah. was such a cool... He was, he's still a paver. Yeah, and he see? picks him up. And then drops him. And then Megatron makes loads of really strange sexual references when they capture Sam. And he's like, I'm going to enjoy getting inside you. Or something like that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what he said. <laughs> I imagine it's something like that. And then the little robot thing goes up his nose. And he's like... <laughs> And then, um... Oh, yeah, he does that a lot. Can we skip all the bits where he does that, please? <laughs> That's my favourite part. <laughs> Just because you can do the face. Do oh, for fuck's sake. And then, um... So that happens. And then Bumblebee comes in. It's like, no, 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 no. New Divide plays. Oh, but it's sake. just some sort of really strange backing track version. It's like, no, no, no. There's explosions. They come in and save him. And then there's a big fight. And Optimus gets his hook hands and hooks Blackout's face, Grindor's face apart. And he goes, I'll tear you in two. And then, that beast, that's an actual lie. I quoted no, that I just bet. then. No, I bet. No, I bet. Carry on. You don't need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you said I bet. I was waiting for something. Yeah, wait. Oh, you reckon I was going to say something funny? I thought you were going to say something. Uh, nah, I'm not really paying attention anymore. So I've, that I've, I've seen this movie before. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, no, there are a lot of action sequences. Let's skip to closer to the end. So Optimus dies, and Sam goes to the Smithsonian. He, he goes and meets the guy from the. Oh the... fuck! We're not even an hour into this yet. <laughs> oh my god! Go, hurry they up! They go and meet the guys running the real effing deals. Dot coms. Yeah. Uh, competition, which surprise, surprise, was the age was Agent Phil Coles. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and he's running, running a butcher's, isn't he? He's running a butcher's with his with his mum. <laughs> I'd actually quite like to talk about that for a minute, right? because because that really confuses me in these movies, right? How that guy does all this stuff. One minute he's Agent Coulson, the they next minute him off. he's in a random like I think he's no, in, like, in New Mexico or something. No, it's in New York. Or Is something. it? No, no, no it's in Chicago. I think. I just could have sworn it was. You know how they like go to. Oh no, I guess they get teleported. Yeah, no, they get. Where's the Smithsonian at? Because it will be around there, won't it? DC, isn't it? Then it'd be in DC. No, it's in a big city because it's on the corner of some street in some big. <laughs> oh, yeah. city. And then he's look, like, look, I'm just confused on how he got to that point. Well, what oh, made... I remember Megatron's there, and he go, he climbs on the radio tower, and he goes. We want Sam Witwickery. Right, that's what it sounds. Yeah. And then they're like, mm. Oh, and then everybody's looking for Everyone's him. Everyone's looking for him. Yeah, he's got his little hat on. Is. And so is the Mexican guy, and that's <laughs> yeah. why he's in the movie. Because, because and then Megatron. I remember, I remember oh. Sam's mum and dad are in Paris. Oh, and yeah! <laughs> and, and she eats a snail and spits it out. And then Bone Crusher comes over. This? And she, this digger... This full-on JCB drives yeah, through this yeah. crowded street and just picks them up <laughs> and drives yeah. off. What is it with this movie? And then so this is why it's so bad. Yeah, they're all fugitives. And then they go into the this Mexican butcher's guy. with the Marvel style stealth, which is a cap and sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, classic. And um, they yeah. so like they're they're in there and they're, they're walking. It's like oh, it's Agent Smith Simmons or whatever Smith. his name it's was. It's Agent. Agent Coulson. Smith. <laughs> Agent Smith. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Um, so yeah, they meet him and they're like, oh, it's you, What's what are you doing here? And he, 
He's in his underwear or something. Yeah. I remember, I remember yeah, that being important. He's, impo- got, like, he's it, got like polka dotted underwear. That yeah, that, that, was from the ori- that was an important plot point <laughs> in the original one that they referenced frequently in the second one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a very important So they talk about it, and then, then he takes that. them down to his strange meat cellar where he's really. Yeah. Where it's really it, it's quite a depressing room, really. It looks it like is. a. It looks like an old like Roman library or something with a computer in. He, he's like, I've been researching all the Transformers. They've been here for years. And he shows a picture of an old Ford, like a, and the original Ford. And he goes, this was the original Transformer. And they're, they're on the Smithsonian. And they go, we've got to go Smithsonian. And then yeah, my favourite part <laughs> was that you, Megan, in the Boston whole Boston. movie happens when they go to the Smithsonian. Yeah. The Hispanic guy tases himself in the balls. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> and that's why. That's why this is the worst Transformers movie. And they're in the toilet, and he just tries to tase the guy. Yeah, and he, he, does. he goes, he goes, and he falls on the floor. <laughs> and he... You can't see this, listeners, but he is acting this oh, out. Acting Dan, it. I don't know if we've even said our names yet. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, Dan is acting this out so perfectly. <laughs> It's unbelievable. I could be in this movie. So he tases his balls, and then his exact words are, Whoa, Agent Smith Simmons, man. How many times do you get tasing the balls before you can't have kids anymore? <laughs> <laughs> and That's he's like, oh, it's so... and then And then he, doesn't he tase Smith Simmons in the arse or Probably. something? Probably, I don't know. So then they find Jetfire, and Jetfire gets like, Oh, bloody hell, whoa. I'm English. <laughs> And he fires missiles at Wait, no, there's a bit before where I think it's Megan Fox spots he's a Decepticon. Oh, yeah. She she runs around the room. They're running around the thing. (laughs) And then last second she goes, shit, he's a Decepticon. I'm getting into this now. Yeah, no, no, no. See, you don't even need the game anymore, really. (laughs) And and then he gets somebody's like, and he goes, oh, I converted years ago because the Decepticons were losing. What's happened? And they go, Decepticons are winning. He's like, bollocks! Because all English people say that every two bollocks. minutes. Come on, I'm after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so he blows stuff up and they're outside in the garden and the, war- the, the weird perverted robot comes out and he's like, yeah, this is one of the old guys. He's important. Warrior princess, I'm humping your leg. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I don't... Mm. See, you know how I was talking about how the Transformers have no personality in this movie? They, they have all the personalities. They don't. All your voices don't have personalities either, so I can't tell who you're trying to be. I can't tell if that was the mini-robot or Megan <laughs> Fox. <laughs> Maybe it's both. <laughs> both at the same time. Anyway, carry so, on. Um, and then Jetfire goes, I know what we'll do. And they're like, what should we do, Jetfire? Let's teleport to Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does that for a reason. Okay. So, because they so can goes, find Neo yes, there or we, something. Ne- <laughs> <laughs> we need, so he t- tells them about the Tomb of the Primes. Yeah. And the matrix of leadership and how it can bring a prime back to life, and only a prime can kill another prime. And the fallen who is coming back to life, which was l- mentioned at the very beginning of the movie that we completely forgot about. Uh, well, no, I didn't completely forget. You <laughs> completely, completely forgot. forgot to mention. You completely forgot to mention. I'm not. I'm you not. You didn't back me up. Well, no, I don't know anything about this movie. I'll be so the, they have to go to the tomb of the primes, which is for some reason inside Egypt. So Sam and and stuff are all they all in Egypt. They all fall on their ass. They're all hurting. You know, they're driving through Egypt for a bit. And then they they get spotted on some camera and they have to and Simmons is like mm, I've got me badge and they go th- do you remember they go through that checkpoint with that extremely racially stereotyped so you're starting to see Saudi it Saudi Arabia wait you, you know we, you know what's completely unforgettable about this movie what? the whole thing we've just been talking about like fucking mud flap and that lot was with them and we completely forgot. <laughs> Yeah. We didn't mention them once. <laughs> so, I, I remember when, before they found Fitzsimmons, they were hiding in an alleyway, and Skizz them up, like, yo, because they talk like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, mm, guys, let's go, and they have a fight, and they're like, mm-hmm, girl, because that's how they talk. And they fight and on the way in. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, anyway, carry on. So they're, 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 so they're in there. Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. And then they find the Tomb of the Primes. And Michaela and Sam go to sleep under the Egyptian stars by pointing out which one's which. And they use the stars to find the Tomb of the Primes because that makes sense. Yeah. And then they're, they're like, well, this is it, but there's nothing here. And then yeah. Bumblebee, Skids and Mudflap all start having a little punch up because they want to. And then they get oh, thrown yeah. through a wall and that wall is the and Tomb of the Primes. that's the only reason that they can even do the rest of the movie. And Sam walks in and he's all like, and he has this weird like he trip tra- he goes to Transformers Heaven for some reason he does he goes to Transformers Heaven for some reason for, for some reason only known by Michael Bay in fact I don't even think Michael, Michael Bay, Bay just oh Michael <laughs> Bay just really wanted <laughs> Michael Bay doesn't know why no and um so Michael Bay makes this happen yeah and then from there we get the incident with how he, he gets the Matrix in his hand, he's like, great, we can save it, and then it turns to dust. So, 
as any person would do, he puts it in his sock. And he ties his sock up with, with Matrix dust. Yeah. And they're like, where should we go now? And they go, well, it just so happens that all the Decepticons and Autobots have followed us to Egypt. And then they call everyone's favourite character in the whole movie, Colonel Lennox. Wait, hang on. Who the fuck is Colonel Lennox? That soldier guy. <laughs> oh, for fuck. Is he in the second one? I thought they killed him in the first one. No, no, one. no. I love that guy. <laughs> Why? He's going to be in Transformers 5 as well. Why? He's coming back. Why? Josh Dunn, I think he came in the third. Like, he oh, was in the no. third one as well. He's the one who... He just showed up at the end. Uh, he, Was he in 4? No. Have you even seen 4? No. I haven't seen 4. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was so disappointed with 3, I couldn't get any, any further. But So, yeah. We're near the end now, everyone. Oh, Don't oh please, God, tell me. I actually want to talk about this movie. So, this this happens with them, and then uh, they have this big explosion. His mum and dad are there for some reason. Yeah. And then they're like, Wait, you can do it. Is this Even the one in like, the no sand village? Yes, is this the, yes. Oh, and then they airdrop in Octo. Oh, yeah, yeah, carry on. And then they're like, uh, Lennox is walking, th- he's power walking through the airport going, we gotta take Optimus Prime and, I don't know why he's black, his oh, friend's yeah. black. That's fine. I mean, yeah. We gotta take Optimus Prime and drop him in Egypt. And they're like, why? And he goes, because I said so. And, and then, then they just do it because... They do it and he's in a, uh, but they don't drop him in a smart place. They drop him in the middle of a battlefield. Don't they do it on the opposite side to where everybody is? They are like Sam's on one end with the matrix of power, leadership, leadership, and they drop and Optimus. they drop Optimus Prime, Optimus, Miles a bloody away. pretty good guy, on the opposite end of the field. It's not it's, a field, mate. It's sand. It's the bloody desert. Okay. So that happens, and then he takes the dust and gives it to him. Then Jetfire's like, "I'll use my parts." And then Optimus gets a cool jetpack and he fights Megatron and he, he rips half of Megatron's face off and then he does someone else and he kills the four yeah. and, then, and, it, and then it goes... Doesn't he get like oh, a weird jetpack? And it's going dun 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 yeah because he's got the jet fire parts and oh, then he's yeah. standing on the aircraft carrier it's going dun 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 na, 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 and he says he uses practically the exact same speech at the end of the first Transformers and just goes, goes I send this message to the stars. He does, doesn't we he? We are here. We... Are waiting. I forget you're famous for your Optimus Prime impression. Uh, across this new divide, and that's what happens. And that is Transformers to Revenge of the Fallen. That's <coughs> it. I finished it. You done? We My don't say. No. Do you not have anything else to say about Transformers Two? Is that it? Nothing else. No, not not that happened. Like, do you have anything to say about it? I love that movie because I found the action sequences to be mildly good. But what about all the bits we just laughed at? Those were the fall back. Ba- yeah, all the things you talked about are awful. Mm-hmm. Everything in that movie is awful. Mm. I hate to break it to you. Yeah. It's yeah, it's right. really bad. But then, when you think about them all on that level... See, I like the idea of Transformers. Always have since I was a little babby. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. We spent about 30 minutes talking about Transformers 2, and now, and now we're, we're just... just general chat. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We'll carry on. All right. So, if we're going to get something wrong, we want people to email in. We want people to have some sort of conversation. Yeah. Also, if you want to give us a topic, because we literally don't have any. Or if you just want a friend. Or yeah, email in. We don't have any. We don't have any. Literally, we're making this podcast to make friends. (laughs) Anyway, let's carry on talking about um, Transformers. See, I haven't seen Transformers four. The a- again, the action sequences—they look—they look pretty uh, sick. Well, apparently, from There's what I've heard, Mark Wahlberg breathing. Uh, no, from what I heard, I'm just going to skip over what you just said. Uh, from what I've heard, it's not as good as one, but it's better than two and three, which is not saying much. But I've heard that it's hours too long. Yeah, and. It's filled with at least an hour's worth of close-up shots of Mark Wahlberg in a battlefield. Okay. <laughs> Can we talk about the product placement in Transformers Two? What product? Placement? I feel like there's a, there was a lot, wasn't there? There always was, but I can't. There's remember. There's always a lot. Like in the first one, a Mountain Dew machine gets turned into a Transformer. Uh, there's product placement in all of them, but I just can't remember what product. Was I remember placed. in the fourth one, I heard that Mark Wahlberg. There's a Bud Light van that's been tipped over. Mark Wahlberg walks over, picks up a Bud Light, cracks it open on the side of the car, drinks it and chucks it on the floor. 
and like goes, mm, that was some nice Bud Light or something. That was some. If I if I had a large audience that may watch what I did, I'd recommend that they drink this Bud Light. Too bad I don't. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Ha. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I I wasn't aware of that. All right, well, Transformers. I would say the best. What would you say is the best movie in the Transformers? Again, I'm are you going to say Revenge of the Fallen? Too, I'd say Transformers the movie, the old eighties one. We'll talk about I it. thought we were talking about this in no, 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 we are. We'll you... talk about this in a different episode. No, but... we're talking about this now. You brought it up. Oh, fuck's sake. Because this thing, that, that movie is my pride and joy. All right, welcome to a double bill episode of the As Yet I Unnamed podcast. love that movie. Right, okay. Here that movie is my lot. I cried when this Optimus died. Spoiler alert, like, Optimus dies. Optimus does die. And doesn't come back to life. Yeah, she doesn't. That's really ballsy. But at the very end of the movie, because apparently loads of people struggled with it, yeah, with uh, it came up. If you watch all the way to the end of the Optimus credits, Optimus Prime says, will return. Optimus Prime returns in the animated series. Yeah, and everyone's like, "Woo!" But Rodimus, sick. Galvatron, sick. Unicron, sick. And I know one of those things. Which one? Unicron. You don't know Rodimus. Mm. You know Hot Rod at the beginning. He's like, he's like, "Come on, Daniel," because that's that's how he speaks in the movie. This is a double bill episode speaks. now, by the way. And he goes, he goes, "Let's go." Fly a kite? No, let's drive to Transformer City, because that's actually what it's called. That's, Autobot City, that was that's it. That's their, like, base, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it goes, it goes, and it's like, dare, 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 dare. Stan Bush is a beauty in that movie. The songs, You Got the Touch, is just beautiful. Yeah, so, I agree. I agree with you. They drive but... off, and then as they're coming in, they see, he goes... Look, it goes. Look, hot rod, because that's how Daniel talks. Are you sure you don't want to say this? My dad's on this plane. No, 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 right, no. This is going to this one. All right. Okay. And Rod was like, "You're right, Daniel." I mean, this is only my podcast, so yeah. I don't know You're why right, I Daniel. should have a say they went, on this. There's smoke coming out of it, and he gets his binoculars out, and they're like, "Oh shit!" And like, he's like, "What?" That's no, not... we're not going through the plot of this movie like you did with Transformers too. I'm not. I'm not. This is not happening. And there's loads. Of, there's flames coming. They're like, "Oh no!" And it's just fantastic. Like, the characters in it are beautiful. I love every... And then you've got the whole... Um, the greetings thing. The... Uh, but... Oh, let me think. You say something while I think of what it is. All right, well, I'm going to move on briskly. I think this is the end of this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed. I'm going to try and end it before Dan uh, it, says... It, yeah, it's a universal up. greeting. Goodbye. Again. I'm going like, to miss you guys. Bar, weep, we will, no, we will be weep, back. mini bar. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back next week with another topic. Next um, month. Uh, if he doesn't show up, I am just going to re-record this. There's like this. a weird version so of, of... Shut up! There's like a weird... Goodbye! Judge Judy. That's it. That's, it's gone. All right. I've shut him up. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've been Jamie. Oh, I'm Dan. Uh, he talks a lot about Transformers. Next week is going to be better. A week, a week, mini barn. <laughs> is that our catchphrase? Yeah. Right. You, you got the touch, guys. All right. Every single one of you. <laughs> all right, guys. Hope you've really enjoyed. I hope you all got touched. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> you all got touched. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it's going to be ended. That's it. That's going to be the last thing that's said. Hope you all got touched. Bye.